A few have asked of how to use the desolder tool, these little needles, and uh, I'm going to show you how I use it. I'll, I don't do videos that much, so I'll do the best I can on this. Uh, what you want to do first is make sure you have the correct size. You want it to fit snugly and not uh, too loose. What I like to do is go over the actual end of the wire to clip and you kind of hold it with that and that'll help guide it through easier. There's two ways to do it. You can remove all the solder or you can just push it through. Uh, let me show you with the removing of the solder. When you remove the solder all the way, you kind of make sure that there's nothing on the back side. Because the issue with that is if you push too hard and there is solder on the back side of the pad, you will actually push push that pad off completely. And then you won't have a you know you won't have a place to solder. Find that point. Or the clip, what I mean by point. Heat up the pad heat it up you know sufficient enough and just keep twisting back and forth sometimes it can be a little pain to get out sometimes it's real quick you just want to kind of hold it and work it back and forth you'll get a feel for it and then it pushes out you can see we didn't lose any of the pad sorry I'm not good with video yet It just comes out because there's a little it's hollow right there so that little area will, or that that clip will fit in that hole sometimes and it'll help guide it through and you kind of twist it out but you can see there's pretty clean there's not that much flash or whatever you want to call it extra solder just kind of floating around we'll do it with this one we'll just push it through without removing the solder once again try to find that point that clip will wire end. Here it is right there. Heat it up. And since we're not taking any out, hold it for a good bit. And don't force it through, just kind of rotate it through slowly. Because if you push hard, you're, you're usually gonna pop that pad off. You can see there's just a little bit of solder on there compared to how much cleaner that one is when you remove. So it's just your choice what you want to do with that. Let me see if I can break the pad off. This is a dead board, so it doesn't really matter. Here, I'll get this one. That one seems pretty good. You can put pressure on these things. They're pretty sturdy for these little plastic you see all the excess solder on that and that's just forcing it through you don't want to do that at all you see how much it leaves and it did pull some of the pad off not a lot but enough that would make a an issue if you're you see it's kind of see the copper right there so i mean if you're if you're forceful with this you will mess up your board i've done it so you just got to be gentle with it and just kind of rotate it back and forth as you go and have i mean good heat like you want to sit on there for a decent i mean not you know how to solder you don't want to sit on there for like a minute or two, but good enough where you know it's pretty wet. And just go slowly, and you want to rotate back up and down. I hope that helped. Thumbs up.